Hello, I'm meteorologist Kyle Brown with your Wednesday afternoon weather briefing. So we have issued a blizzard warning and a winter storm warning uh, for our area ahead of a winter storm, which will begin to impact the area uh, Thursday afternoon and then with impacts all the way through Friday night and into Saturday. We will see a combination of snow, which will be heavy at times, Strong winds from the west at 40 to 50 miles per hour. This will result in widespread blowing and drifting snow. And we will see plummeting temperatures, um, which includes wind chills well below zero, 20 to 30 degrees uh, below zero at times. This is an unusual storm for uh, late December, but I do want you to know that the impacts from this storm will not be like that of the 1978 blizzard. So north of US 24, that is where we are expecting the greatest snow accumulations to be late Thursday evening through Friday evening. Uh, blizzard conditions will be most likely in those areas, mainly in uh, far northwest Indiana and uh, southwest Michigan. Now, as you move away from the lake and especially south of US 24, blizzard conditions are less likely, but uh, all all of northern Indiana and, and southern Michigan will see a period of snow of one inch per hour uh, Thursday night. So that, in combination with the very strong winds we are expecting, will result in a period of uh, blizzard conditions. But again, um, the most numerous blizzard conditions, quarter mile visibility, and then some whiteout conditions will be in uh, far northwest Indiana and then into uh, southwest Michigan um, from this storm system. This graphic here is an hourly temperature forecast. Uh, so here is 8 a.m. on Thursday, and here is 1 a.m. on Friday. And then on the left-hand side, we have a selection of cities in our forecast area. So you'll notice that on Thursday, temperatures will generally be a near freezing to above freezing but that by the time we get to sunset on Thursday night, uh, that's when that cold front approaches and we start to see temperatures uh, plummet into the 20s and then into the teens, and then temperatures fall even further overnight uh, into the single digits uh, by Friday morning. So notice that temperatures are going to fall very quickly in a short amount of time. If there are any wet roadways out there, that does create the opportunity uh, for the uh, flash freeze scenario. However, uh, by this point, it, precipitation is going to be mainly snow. So we're not expecting there to be a period of, uh, of freezing rain or freezing drizzle. Um, just, just know that. So similar idea with this graphic, only we are looking at the maximum wind gust forecast. So our main wind of opportunity to see wind gusts of 40 to 50 miles per hour is going to be early Friday morning and then through the day on Friday. Closer to Lake Michigan, that's where we could see wind gusts of 50 to 55 miles per hour. But notice that um, you know anywhere from midnight Friday all the way through noon on Friday, we'll have a prolonged period of wind gusts of uh, 30 to 40 miles per hour per hour. So that will greatly uh, hamper cleanup efforts uh, from this snowstorm and create numerous uh, issues with blowing and drifting snow. Blowing and drifting snow will be most problematic on those north and south oriented roadways as uh, the wind direction will be from the west. We've talked about the temperatures, we've talked about the wind gusts, now let's take a look at the wind chills. Uh, wind chills will be well below zero by early Friday morning. Uh, wind chills of minus 30 to minus 20 uh, are expected. And uh, temper uh, wind chill forecast uh, will be well below zero all the way through the day on Saturday and then even all the way through the day on Sunday. So it will become uh, brutally cold and it will stay that way through the weekend. Um, and just to highlight this a, a little bit more, um, you know, wind chill of about 20 some degrees at 6 p.m. in Angola on Thursday, but it's going to be well below zero just 12 hours later. So it is going to be a, a shock to the system and a frostbite can occur in minutes when uh, wind chills are in that minus 20 to minus 30 degree range. 
To wrap up this briefing, uh, we do have high confidence in the timing of this system. Um, snowfall amounts may continue to be adjusted a little bit in the coming forecast cycles, but again, the snowfall totals are not the main story with this system. It's the strong wind gusts from the west of 40 to 50 miles per hour and those very cold wind chills, um, uh, 30 below zero at times. So um, just, just know that there will be significant travel impacts um, regardless uh, of the snow amount that you see in your area. I thank you for your time. Our next weather briefing will be Thursday morning. Stay safe.